This is the Jim Crawford Stakes, the male are going over a distance of 1,800 meters. And I'm sure, Charlie, that this one is going to be of si real significance, especially for the Canadians, Harry Hill, and, of course, Keith Spade. Yes, it's going to be very interesting to see how those two perform. Um, Skeet Spade is the gelding, the older horse, Kelly. Uh, I always like to see the older horse in the first run because I find they run a little better than the younger one. The younger one usually runs a race and then comes back and improves on that race. So we'll see today what type of class they are and how they will shape up for the Gold Cup. We start with number four, Skeet Spade. This is a five-year-old big gelding by Bold Ruckus out of... Uh, Mr. Brighty, written by Anderson Trotman, and carries 129 pounds. You're having a first look of uh, one of two Canadians that will be pointed for the Gold Cup. leader taking up his designated space then we have four lengths back to Skeets Bay Dance Numerous Alaska Pete Kill their town and the trailer at the moment is Mandy Miriam they come to the seven and a half furlong marker down the straight for the first time and it is squadron leader cutting out the early fractions hammering along in front about four lengths clear of Airy Hill then comes in the third rank Tika Shah on the outside Kill their town Skeets Bay Alaska Pete down on the inner Mandy Miriam and Dance Numerous trail they go around the top turn and squadron leader has an eight length lead on Airy Hill. They've run the first fraction in uh, 40, uh, that's not a good thing to do. As we go towards the five furlong marker, it's still squadron leader. He's about 10 lengths clear of Airy Hill. Then Kildare Town goes for third on the outside. Then down on the inside is Tikashar, another five lengths back to Skeet Spade Dance Numerous. Alaska Pete now being asked to go on on the inside, so to Mandy Miriam on the outside. They go towards the four furlong, past the four furlong marker to the three. They meet the rising ground and it is still squadron leader, about eight lengths clear of Airy Hill now is set down to go after him, so to kill their town with a run. Take a shower with a lot of work to do, so to skate spade dance, numerous now being asked to run on, they're over the top of the hill and now Airy Hill comes to call a squadron leader and goes on with just over two furlongs to go, very comfortable in front, followed clearly by kill their town and dance, numerous rushing into it, so to Mandy Miriam, they come back to the mile pole. And Pat Husbands has to ask Airy Hill to go on and does, and he accelerates nicely as they turn for home. It is Airy Hill now with the lead as they turn for home. Uh, Dance Numerous is second way, and on the outside is Mandy Miriam, but Airy Hill, I think, has them put down for the run as they come inside the final furlongs, running on too strongly for them. It is Airy Hill galloping on very impressively that wins now by three lengths from Dance Numerous, another six back to kill their town. Then between horses comes uh, Alaska Peak, doesn't quite catch Mandy Miriam, down on the inside, Tika Shah, Skeets Bear. And the trailer is the early pacemaker, squadron leader. Sean Hall, of course, you've just landed the Jim Crawford with Gary Hill and a good time of 150 and 250. How significant is this and how does this fit into your plans for Gary Hill? Well, it feels like he's, a, he's way ahead than I expect right now because I would advise that to run a good race, I'll be happy. But he proved that he's adopted to Barbados conditions right away and, you know, he could go very far from here. Are you telling me that there's still more to give for the Gold Cup? There's still worry. He's supposed to be better, so there's a lot to look forward to. Okay, is Gary Hill now capable of, of, of tackling at 148 or so, a, a time that we expect will be required of him in the Gold Cup? I guess so. I mean, like, Patrick did get pulled up to the three at pole. I mean, he still has a lot left in him, and I think we see a better horse than I mean, this is first race since November the 26th. I've took my time to get him here. I, I know I've been pressing too hard, and I still have a lot of my sleeves with this horse. Sean Hall and... Uh, the Melanie Connection coming back with Erie Hill, the winner of the Jim Crawford Stakes. Of course, Patrick Husbands is aboard and gave this uh, fourth a wonderful uh, ride to finish the Jim Crawford in a decent time of 150 and two fifths. Of course, um, he will need to go a little bit faster than that for the Gold Cup, but I'm assured that uh, there's left something left in the tank with this big chestnut and really much to look forward to for the Gold Cup 2002.